The most important question we can ever ask might be, are we alone in the universe? This question, made famous by the legendary Carl Sagan, continues to echo across generations, inspiring both scientists and dreamers. Carl Sagan wasn't driven purely by curiosity. He believed that answering this question would fundamentally reshape our understanding of life, existence, and our place in the cosmos. Sagan imagined a universe rich with life. He often said that if Earth were the only place with life, it would be a terrible waste of space. That idea lit a fire in scientific communities. Generations of researchers have since dedicated their work to searching the skies. Today, thanks to cutting-edge technology and relentless effort, those dreams are inching closer to reality. At the center of this modern search is the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a masterpiece of science and engineering. With its unprecedented power, JWST is peering farther and more clearly into the universe than any telescope before. JWST is not just capturing stunning images of distant stars and galaxies. It works like a time machine, allowing us to glimpse the universe as it looked billions of years ago. But perhaps more importantly, it functions as a space-based spectrometer, capable of analyzing the atmospheres of distant planets. This ability represents a game-changing leap in the search for alien life. By examining the chemical fingerprints of exoplanet atmospheres, scientists can now search for the building blocks of life, even from hundreds of light years away. One exoplanet in particular has seized the spotlight, K218b. Located in the constellation Leo, over 120 light years from Earth, it orbits a small, cool red dwarf star named K218. What makes it fascinating is that it's situated within the habitable zone, the sweet spot where liquid water could exist. K218b isn't a rocky planet like Earth. It's what's known as a sub-Neptune, larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. What intrigued scientists even more was its classification as a Hycean world, the term coined by Dr. Niku Madhusudan of Cambridge University. Hycean planets are a new category of potentially habitable worlds. They are believed to have hydrogen-rich atmospheres and global oceans hidden beneath thick cloud layers. These conditions could be ideal for microbial life to thrive. Using a technique called transit spectroscopy, scientists measured how starlight filtered through K218b's atmosphere during a transit. This method detects the specific wavelengths absorbed by different gases, revealing what chemicals are present. To everyone's surprise, JWST data revealed water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and possibly even dimethyl sulfide, DMS. Why is DMS so important? Because on Earth, it's almost exclusively produced by marine microorganisms. If confirmed, the presence of DMS would be the strongest biosignature ever detected on an exoplanet. Dr. Madhusudan called it a historic milestone, though he stressed this isn't proof of life, not yet. He emphasized that this is only the first step in a new era of astrobiology. Others in the field are cautiously optimistic. Dr. Sarah Seeger from MIT noted that we're now identifying planets that could realistically support living organisms. This moment changes our understanding of habitability. For decades, we assumed that only rocky planets with breathable atmospheres could harbor life. Now, we're seeing that life could potentially thrive in alien environments unlike anything on Earth. And it's not just distant exoplanets. Even within our own solar system, we've had surprising revelations. Moons like Europa and Enceladus harbor subsurface oceans, and Cassini's detection of organic molecules erupting from Enceladus proves life may not require sunlight or even land. JWS's broader mission goes beyond the search for life. It's unraveling how planets and galaxies form, how stars evolve, and how the early universe was chemically structured. This is why many now call this the golden age of exoplanet science. Another thrilling system under study is TRAPPIST-1, which hosts seven Earth-sized planets. At just 40 light years away, several of its worlds lie within the habitable zone. JWST is already studying their atmospheres. One planet, TRAPPIST-1e, is especially promising. It's roughly Earth-sized and could have liquid water. JWST is beginning to search its skies for methane, oxygen, and other biomarkers that hinted life. Then there's LHS 1140b, a rocky exoplanet only 49 light-years from Earth. 
It's thought to have a dense atmosphere and orbits within the habitable zone of its red dwarf star. It's another exciting prospect for future studies. Scientists are planning multiple follow-up missions to confirm these early findings. Teams are particularly eager to verify the presence of DMS on K218b and to search for combinations of ozone, ammonia, and nitrogen compounds. These chemicals, when found together, could build a compelling case for biological activity. Meanwhile, the upcoming aerial mission by the European Space Agency will examine hundreds of exoplanet atmospheres in detail. NASA is also preparing the Habitable Worlds Observatory, expected in the next decade. Its mission to look even closer at Earth-like planets around nearby stars and search for signs of liquid water, clouds, and maybe life. The scale of the universe defies comprehension. With over 100 billion galaxies, and each galaxy containing billions of stars, the odds of Earth being alone seem increasingly unlikely. Even if just a tiny fraction of stars host habitable planets, we could be facing millions of alien worlds, each with its own climate, chemistry, and potential for life. Dr. Jill Tarter, a pioneer in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, reminds us that absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. She believes we're finally developing the right tools to detect real proof. Each new data point reshapes our understanding of how common life might be. Even discovering microbes on another planet would confirm that Earth isn't unique. The implications would ripple across society. Philosophy, religion, ethics, and politics would all face new questions. We would no longer be the only known life, we'd be part of a much bigger cosmic ecosystem. Today's discoveries are inspiring the next generation. Young students are growing up with JWST images and dreams of exploring space. Tomorrow's astronauts, scientists, and planetary explorers may already be in classrooms today. The curiosity JWST sparks may be the catalyst for the first human mission to an alien world, or the moment we finally hear a signal from a distant civilization. Some researchers believe that future missions won't just detect life, they may find techno-signatures, evidence of intelligent civilizations. These could include radio signals, chemical pollutants, or even artificial lights illuminating the night side of an exoplanet. Any one of these would mean we are not only not alone, but that someone else is watching the stars too. This search is no longer science fiction. It's a serious scientific effort, gaining momentum with every discovery. The tools, the missions, and the minds are now in place. As Dr. Thomas Serbuchin, NASA's former science director, put it, this is the closest we've ever come to finding life beyond Earth, and we're just getting started. His words echo across labs, observatories, and mission control rooms. Every image, every data set, every new exoplanet brings us closer to that long-awaited answer. The question Carl Sagan posed decades ago is more relevant than ever. With every analysis, new questions arise about our universe, our origins, and our future. Maybe life exists on K218b. Maybe it's just simple microbial organisms swimming beneath a thick hydrogen sky. Or maybe it's something more complex, intelligent, hidden. Whatever the truth, the journey has only begun. The universe is vast, beautiful, and full of possibilities. We must keep searching, keep questioning, and keep hoping. Because one day, we just might get an answer. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.